they wanted for the ACHA 2021 National Championships. I think we're excited to get to Minot and, uh, and, and, and go compete for the big prize uh, coming off league playoffs. I think momentum is good uh, and I think it's been a long stretch with two years uh, leading up to, to a national tournament. It was really exciting to be able to go but also we knew that there was a lot of pressure on our backs having won the two years that I've at least been here at Liberty and going for our third in a row. We've been preparing all year through a year that was unexpected, things got cancelled, added games. so. We're really excited and hoping that we can pull through after a year like this. It's a new format this year. Uh, going back to the round robin tournament, uh, we're guaranteed three games. I think we've prepared the girls uh, for this format and I think we're just excited to, to go play some hockey and it'll be fun. A big match up here. Lindenwood are the only team to beat Liberty this season. Every single time we've played them, it's always been a good game. It's always a physical game. They always come out and they are a good rounded team. They always come out really hard in our first game we played against them this season, we lost. So coming into that mentally, I think that we need to stay focused. There was a little bit of a fire for us to kind of redeem ourselves on that note. And obviously because we play them more often than not, we knew what we were getting into and what to expect. There's always a good battle when we play them. I think the girls know what they have to do, and so we're going to get there and just work really hard. They're ready to rock and roll, and here we go. Lindenwood having some trouble getting it out of their own zone right now. Here's Truder. Truder to Matchuk. Here's Matchuk. Fires a shot stopped by McDonald. Rebound, and they score. And Liberty is off and running here. They lead 1 0. Shot through traffic and they score! That went off of uh, Bradford out front. Here's Bradford. Bradford coming out of the corner. Bradford with the shot. Rebound is there and they score! The well, Lennonwood Lions are going to fall four to nothing. Being able to win four nothing just you know, set the stage for, hey, we are at Nationals, we are going to compete. Here we are, we're in the groove, we're in the role, and we gotta just keep on going. We were able to have a complete game and get the shot out for our goalie and have the defensive shutdown that we needed in order to be able to produce the offense in turn. So I think it was a really important game overall to get us set in the tone moving forward for the, for the tournament. Third game of day two, the Liberty Flames against the McKendra Bearcats. They're not a team to underestimate. They deserve their place at the national tournament. They proved season and season afterwards that they deserve to be there. You know, their opponent we know. We, we've seen them once this year, but I think we're excited to, to keep the positive momentum going after Lindenwood, and uh, I'm excited to see our girls uh, go out there and, and battle hard. Good defensive recovery by McKendry there, locking down that second chance up for her. Fire shot scores, it's tipped in. Smyber got it, and Liberty leads. 1-0. Pierce, D to D, here's her. Her with a shot. Save, rebound, and it sneaks through Lisek. This is the breakaway for Pierce. Pierce, and oh, she scores. Pierce makes it 4-1 Liberty. And that will do it. Liberty Flames win this one, four to one. Good four one win against McKindry. This last game, um, girls worked hard. We implemented a few new systems, and I thought we did a good job executing those. And just coming out after that game, having two wins under our belt, um, is a really, really good feeling in a national championship. We had a really great team win here against McKendry. That was a lot of fun playing this game, and it was just a way to keep going and makes us feel a little bit better going into the third game. College Bulldog gets win and into the semis. Lose and you go back home. You don't need any more motivation to get up for a game like this against the number one team in the country. Going into Adrian, we knew that we had secured a spot in Final Four, but we knew that Adrian, it was the rest of their season was on the line. It was a do or die game. There was nothing that they had left to hold the tank for if they didn't win, if they couldn't get the win for this game. So I think just having the mentality of knowing they're going to give us our best shot and we need to be able to match that. Top line against top line. And Maxson out there now turns it over. Dangerous pass. Here's Paulson. DC scores. Danica Paulson 
And it's one nothing Liberty Flames. Comes up to Williams. She has a chance to clear it down momentarily. Could be a breakaway short-handed. Here's Nicole Thomas. Shoots. Scores! Nicole Thomas ties the game. Bradford. It's Schroeder and uh, Future. Future. Scores! Shot through traffic. Bradford with the goal. Foster has some room to walk in. Now here's Williams. Williams with a shot. Glove save. Rebound again. They score. I think it's the Bill Thomas again. Fussy to McLeod. Zidane's out of the box. It's a five on four. Fussy shot. Back door. They score. It's tipped in by Yannick Truder. And the Liberty Flames take the lead again. It's three to two. Zyphon's going to look to eat it along the wall. One more chance here from Robinson, and that's going to do it. The Liberty Flames have punched their ticket to the semifinals, and they will face the Midland Warriors. Adrian's a really good competitive team, and they always give us a good, hard physical game. Coming away with another win is just so, so exciting. Heading into the now the semifinal, it's the number one seed. Obviously, there's detail work to be done, but uh, we're really happy with the girls and how they played. Just about set for puck drop here, game two. The Midland Warriors against the number one team in the country, the Liberty Flames. Seeing Minot get beat in the semifinals right before our game, I think it was just an eye-opening to understand that, hey, anything can happen. You can't go in thinking that everything's in the bag for you just because, you know, you've historically done well. There is no rules about this is going to be the people in the finals. This is going to be the teams in the semis. You don't know any of that. And so being seeing that upset, I think, woke us up a little bit. That just makes us take each game a little bit more to heart, I think. We can't get anything in our head and just we have to play what we know we can do. And so I think it might be a little nerve-wracking going into the game, but I'm excited to play Midland. They're coached well. Uh, they have the number one scorer in the country, but we're just excited to, to play them. We're, they're a gritty team. I know they got good goaltending, so we're ready to go. Manchuk draws a penalty early in this first period. Upstairs, and that is fair. Right over the glove side. Back to Fuzzy, top of the circle, snaps a shot, that's tip. Rebound is back to and they score! It's Paulson, it's 2-0 Liberty. And the Warriors look shell-shocked on the bench right now. And that is gonna do it. The Liberty Flames are gonna advance to the third straight national championship game. Securing another spot in the championship game, uh, that's a feeling that you can't really forget and you can't put into words. To finally have that come to fruition and have the chance to not only defend our title from last year, but to defend something that we've been working for for years. It's crazy um, that our last national title game uh, came against Lindenwood as well. It, it seems like it was a long time ago. Day five, the national championship on our hands here on a Monday night. Minot, North Dakota, the number four Lindenwood Lions against the number one Liberty Flames. They're they're a team that uh, has given us fits, and uh, they're, you know they're the only team to beat us in the last couple years. Every time you hear the word national championship game, you kind of get shivers down your spine just of how important it is. And I think playing against Lindenwood, especially where we had seen them earlier in the tournament, and we knew that they are going to give us their best shot. That you know it's going to be a whirlwind, but just to sit there and enjoy it and take it all in. Fires a shot, digs, and it's there. Jensen, no goal. They say Kylie Mebs reached back and got that with the glove. Turk caught up for Lilies. Lilies into the court. Turned over. Matchup will shoot. Scores. Valeria Matchup on a broken play. Out for Magic scores! Valerie Manchuk with her second of the night! 
Flames looking to grab a stranglehold on this hockey game on the power play. You're looking to go up 3-0. Here's Smybert. Smybert picks it off of McDonald and the net. The Liberty Flames have three P in the ACHA Division National Championships. I do not even know how to begin describing how it felt to win our third national championship. Probably the most hard fought game we had in the championships and the, probably my favorite nationals as well. This was just something special as a team. Um, to come away with a third one, that's incredible. I never really pictured that this would actually happen. People mentioned things like this my freshman year, and I was like, oh yeah, we'll be playing, like we'll be fighting every year, but our team has just done something that teams don't really do, and it's pretty cool to be a part of this team. Winning one's hard, winning two is, is kind of exceptional, and then winning three is just unbelievable. Super honored and, and thankful to be a part of the program and the team that we are. And, all the girls that I've played with through the years and like glory to God for the benefits and the things that we've been able to have because I think Liberty Hockey we, we represent something very different and I think it's been able to show through the success that we've had and just super honored and proud to play alongside of the girls that I do and be supported by the staff that we have. There's so much adrenaline and so much just pride in what you've just accomplished and I'm so, so grateful to be a part of it. Just reflect back on not only the journey we've gone on as a team and as a program this year, but for the past couple years, it was a moment that I will definitely never forget and it was a very special one. As a senior leaving, I know us seniors took it all in and it, it was really exciting and special. Just being able to finally get to the end and say, we did it. We, we are holding up this trophy. All of our hard work has, has finally uh, paid off. It was just the most incredible feeling. Yeah, it's honestly awesome. It's super exciting for the girls to be rewarded for this tough season. They've worked hard and we were able to come and have this national national tournament and that's kind of all we want is just a chance to play. And I think the girls really came together through some adversity that we had on and off the ice this year and to be rewarded with a, another ch national championship, it's pretty amazing. That is not okay. You know, you always think about that, uh, that graduating class uh, and what they've done and uh, what an incredible accomplishment. Um, you know, two conference titles and, uh, and three national, national titles over their four years. And uh, it's just, it's been a fun ride to be on. Looking forward to, to keeping it going. And, uh, you know, it's not just about the, the on-ice success. We've, we've done some great things, but uh, we've got an incredible group of, of uh, students and uh, girls that have impacted the, the, the campus and our community and uh, really proud of, of the young women that they are outside of hockey as well.